In my last video on Friday, I gave you guys a sneak peek at my DIY dynamic bike headlight project. And I told you it was still in under progress and everything. And this weekend I spent a lot of time just putting all the pieces together. And it works actually, for the most part. There's a few adjustments that I still need to make, but I made a first very, very rough prototype so I can get out there with the bike. First of all, let me show you how it looks. So here we have pretty much the whole setup. Uh, for now in the first prototype, I just cut out a piece of really thin balsa wood and cut holes in it, used Velcro stra straps so that it could be kind of in the center part here of the bike. Um, my in the future, I want to kind of combine it all into one piece and just mount it right on the front where the projector is. But for now, I still wanted to experiment with uh, different components and try different things out. And that's why I kind of laid it out like this to make that easier to do. So this wire here uh, comes from the sensor down on the wheel. That's the Hall Effect sensor uh, with the magnet. It goes into one of the GPIO pins here on the breadboard. The breadboard connects to the Raspberry Pi. Also on the breadboard is a button that I put there just for switching modes so that I can just have the regular speed mode and the other kind of animations mode. Um, Raspberry Pi is connected to the projector via HDMI. Here's the projector right here. It's on a, a little ball, uh, a ball head so that that can be adjusted pretty easily, which is just clamped onto the handlebars. Here is a USB charging pack. This is just a battery pack that's meant really mostly for charging batteries on cell phones, uh, but it works great for the Raspberry Pi. This is one from Adafruit. So that's kind of the whole system right now. As I said, this is really just the first prototype of it, and I'm hoping to kind of compress this all down into one piece. For example, not having a breadboard like this and actually soldering something together, perhaps using a pie plate and attaching that to the top of the Raspberry Pi. So I didn't just put it together, I actually tried it out as well. Take a look. So we brought it out onto the street and immediately people were asking about it and looking at it, which was pretty cool. Uh, and it worked when I brought it out. Um, here you can see it actually changing speed as I speed up. And I wanna show you a first person point of view here. This is what it's like biking for me in New York City, uh, navigating between the cars and everything. Now I don't have a ton of footage of me riding with it on because uh, in the course of testing it and trying it out and uh, making adjustments, I really ran down the battery on the projector. So by the time we got it in good shape and started shooting it, the projector didn't have much battery left. So I got just only these shots and I also wanna thank Adam and Caitlin for helping me get them because uh, I couldn't have done it without them out on the street with the camera and the bike. Here I am uh, speeding up again. So right now it's still only showing the speed of the bike and the beam of the headlight for now, but I plan to add the animations or, or some other kind of visualizations with that button to change the different modes. Thank you to everybody on Friday and over the weekend who gave suggestions about different ways to use this hardware with the headlight and the, the, the projector and the Raspberry Pi and the Hall Effect sensor, what kind of interesting visualizations. And I think GPS is also a, a, an important piece of hardware that I should probably be adding to this because there's so many cool things that I could do with GPS on this bike. And so that'll be down the line. For now, I think what I wanna do is sort of enclose the whole thing, make it a little bit neater so I don't need that big piece of balsa wood uh, hanging from the bike. But um, yeah, the whole thing works. And so I'm really, really happy about it. I wanna hear what you think of it. And maybe if you have more ideas for what you would do with it, I'd love to hear it. So thank you for watching these videos and thank you for subscribing. If you have any comments for me, leave a comment below or find me on Twitter at Matt Richardson. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.